Hello, hello everyone, and we are back with a new free series, and this one is one that you guys have been asking me for a lot, and believe me that I, we have been testing and testing and testing for months, and I want to thank all the patrons that made this year series possible, and also to Sai that has been my mentor in Houdini and has helped me to develop tools to discuss about the pipeline and a lot of different things that is the reason why we can bring this to you today. Uh, this is going to be the same as, uh, as the Exchange Free Series. We're going to go through the basics and how to build things. And I will put a little bit of my techniques and the things that I have learned from this process. So remember that I'm not an expert on Houdini. So if I make any mistake, please, please, please let me know so we can fix it as soon as possible. And we're going to jump into the series without further ado. So first, I'm going to create a sphere here. So just a basic sphere note. And with this, we're going to create a gem geometry node or the geometry container. Inside is the sphere. We're going to change it to polygon mesh. That is going to be basic polygon mesh, nothing fancy there. And this is the basic sphere that we're going to use to groom. We're going to jump one level up. I'm going to call this Geo, just for clarity. And in Houdini, I'm on the build and basic, basic UI. You can go to the hair utils here and on the hair utils, you will find add fur. So this already creates all the basic network for you to add the Houdini fur and the Houdini setup. So we're going to click it. The moment that you click this, you can see that it says on the legend, select a static geometry to add fur to. The static geometry is going to be the geo that doesn't move. In this case, it will be the T-pose or for us, or basic sphere. We don't have animation on this sphere, so we don't care about this. But in some cases you have an Alembic. So if you have an animated cache or something that you want to use, you could also just export the first frame that is on T-Pose that it's not going to move and use that as a ref Rio geo and then use the animated one on the second input. So this is a static geo. We click it, we hit enter. Now we have another legend. Now select an animated skin geometry. If any, enter to complete. In this case, we don't have any, but if you do, then you select your animated skin, the one that has the animation. Why? Because Houdini will read both geos and then will create the groom. So basically, you have the normal geo and the animated geo. So Houdini reads that both inputs grows the hair on a variation of this. And then once the hair exists, transpose this data into the animated geo. So it doesn't have to recreate the points, every frame, they cre it get created on a ref pose, so on the static pose, and that transpose on transfers this into the animated geo. So that's basically how it works. And this is going to create four different nodes. We have the geo container, that is a geo state that will have all the information for or geometry or at geometry level. Then we have the guide groom information that this will have the conversion of the guides that gets generated for the hair. Let me turn off all the other ones. You can turn them off by the right click of the uh, blue eye if you have no experience in Houdini. And you, we go inside and then we have the generation of the guides. We have the skin that is the one that we did and the skin VDV. That this is a voxel type of uh, geometry that if we click here, we can see it. And that is a small little squares this is a normal geo and this will be the guides. So that's basically the guide setup that we have to control. And on this level, we're going to have all the deformations that we will apply to the guides. Then we go one level above and this is the guide deformation. This is how Houdini attaches all the information into the animated skin geo. And from the ref post, different types, different deformation, object merge instead of connecting. It has all the information that you need here the five caches and all the rest skin, the outrest skin, the rest guides display the anime skin and the anime guides and how they get merged into the out groom. So this is mostly for the animated geos. We're not going to go through this one that much yet. And the final one is the hair generate at this level. So you can see the guides there. We have the animated guides and then we have the hair. On this final level, we have the hair generate this note is going to give us all the information about the Houdini here. 
and inside we have a single output that will give us the hair information. We still have the input of the skin, the skin BDB and the guides to use accordingly to our needs. So the division is on four levels, again, geo level and everything that is related to the skin, guide groom and everything that is related to the guides, guide deformation that will be the transfer between the ref pose or the static geometry into the animated geometry and the final part that is going to be the generation of that hair. I hope you liked the first tutorial and remember this has been sponsored by all the amazing patrons and please if you like share if I make a really big mistake just let me know.